Good evening, YouTube family. It's your man, George Page, coming to you live, live on YouTube. And, uh, to, and just confirmed today, um, Chris Cyborg has signed with Bellator. Now, you know, as you know, recently, uh, Chris and her relationship with UFC had ended because of that more yes, trick, um, Dana White. But Scott Coker came in, and he's the man, he's the man, and, and um, dropped a big bag on my girl, Cyborg. Now... If y'all know, this is a great opportunity for her because she have fought in four different organizations. And this is a possibility of a future title contendership fight with her and the current champion at Bellator, um, one Miss Julia Budd. Now, all of us fans of Cyborg are kind of disappointed that we'll never see the rematch between, um, you know, Cyborg and Amanda Nunes, you know, and... And that's just a bad thing, and that, was, and that, and truthfully, it's not her fault. It's the fault of, of the UFC and Dana White, because whatever issues he had, he's in his feelings. He messed up a good thing. This would probably would have been the, one of the biggest fights on their con, for, especially not just for the UFC, but for for um w, for WMMA. You know, this would be a great fight, like the first fight between Cyborg and Amanda Nunes being double champ fight. That was a great fight. But, you know, like I said, you know, we all know what kind of guy I'm um, dealing with. Yeah, he's in his feelings. But um, as a fan of Cyborg and a, and a member of Cyborg Nation, I am glad for his opportunity. And I'm glad for her. I mean, she gets to fight a little bit more because, you know, Bellator has more women in their one for the division. You have Julia Budd. You have Elaine, Bl uh, Elaine Blanco. You have um, Olga Rubin. You have, um, you also you have Leslie Smith. She fought her back in UFC you know when she first started you know it's just more it's more opponents for her instead of ufc creating and hiring bringing in more women for their 145 division so that's the reason gonna go to shit because there's no one really there i mean she 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 pieced up felicia spencer uh megan megan anson was, was too scared to take the take the fade and the bullshit that dan white did without even say the, the rematch between her her and the lying ass amanda nunez but it's a great opportunity for Cyborg, and I think she's really going to get paid. And also with this, as you know, with Bellator, they, you know, the fighters can have sponsors, meaning not only she'll get paid from, the, from, from fighting, she also make money on the side from sponsors. And also, it's given an opportunity maybe to do what she want to do, like even, um, you know, jump into boxing. As you know, Cyborg has been working on, on boxing for a good while, and it's a great opportunity for her. Like, you, we, you all know Heather Hardy. She boxes and do, does MMA with Bellator and several other fighters who, who, who have fought in other organizations who get an opportunity if, if they don't fight in, in, for them in um, Bellator, they can fight someplace else for a little bit and come back. So this is a great opportunity for um, Cyborg. Uh, this is a blessing for her. She's a good person. She's a great heart. She's beautiful inside and out. And to that more trick, Danny White, fuck you. Fuck your mama. Fuck the horse she ride on. You know, go keep fucking strippers, green girls. And, and horse, all right. So we don't need you anymore. But like I said, you know, we're never gonna ever see the, the fight between Nunez and Cyborg. Maybe someday down the long road, if Cyborg, if Nunez ever leaves UFC, and she might go to Bellator, but I doubt it. And for Julia Bud, girl, kiss and kiss your title goodbye, because you're not gonna have it much longer. It's your man George Page. Like, subscribe. Don't like, subscribe. I'm out, baby.